Hey everyone, this is Shreedal Health for AJ Raven and today I'm with my friend Fawad Aman and we are going to do a low impact cardio workout that's only going to be around 20 to 25 minutes or perhaps even 30 minutes and Fawad has experience going to the gym, he usually does weights however, uh, because I don't do weights, I'm mostly into HIIT workouts and yoga and cardio so I'm going to keep everything low impact and this is like something new for Fawad to try out, so he'll be doing this with you guys. So the first step, we are going to start with a small warm up because we want to make our body ready and make it alert and make it ready for what we're about to do. So I'm going to introduce a bit of yoga into all of this. So I hope you are, you're, you know, flexible enough yeah, to yeah. do something. <laughs> so yeah. We are, uh, when coming to the warm up, you're going to start with the standing free pose. It's easy. You just pick up your left leg, bring it in, bring it in, and then balance and breathe in and arms up. Okay, so we are going to keep on standing here for four to five breaths. It depends on you. Just gently breathe in and breathe out. Concentrate on what you're going to do, concentrate on what you're going to achieve through this workout. After two to three breaths, lower your leg, and we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay, breathe in, hands up, and keep yourself at a warm up pace. We don't want to fatigue you too soon because the real workout is going to start after this. And it's up to you if you want to turn on the fan or something. We haven't because I prefer doing all of these workouts without the fan turned on. And lower. Now the next thing we're going to do, we are going to spread our legs at least shoulder feet apart. <laughs> shoulder feet apart. Okay. So we are going to bend to the side and just turn your feet this way okay and your right foot should be turned at least 40 degrees in yeah okay so now we're going to go down with an exhale down and we're going to grab our ankle now it's up to you if you aren't flexible enough you can grab your knee but if you think you, you can manage you can grab your ankle the other arm stays straight and again, depending on your flexibility level, we are going to look upwards. Okay, stay here. Keep your arms straight. Come on, arm, arm straight. <laughs> okay, keep it here for one to two breaths. And with an inhale, we're going to come up and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Again, feet facing this uh, in this direction. Your left leg should be at least 30 to 45 degrees in and same thing, exhale, bend down, grab your ankle and look up if you can. And we're going to hold this position for two or three breaths. In this workout, we're going to use a lot of our legs. So, inhale, get up. So we are going to open up our lower section so we're going to go onto the floor into a plank position if you can manage and again when you're doing a plank make sure that your hips aren't moving way up or they aren't dropping down it needs to be a straight line from your hips to your spine now depending on your flexibility level you are to bring your right leg all the way up to your feet okay to your hand Done. Okay, so now using your right hand, we are going, or your left, depending on you, we are going to move in and we're going to come out upwards. Again, we're going to do this for like two or three times. Again, move in and we're going to come up. This is going to open up your uh, lumbar and your spine, and again, depending on your flexibility. Do not push yourself, do not hurt yourself if you're feeling pain, stop it or bring your leg back. Again, if you are free to modify this workout to the level you're comfortable with. Now we're going to do the other side, again into the plank position, 
Bring your left leg up, your left arm in, and up, and in, and up. Arm should be straight when you're going up, and all the motions should be controlled. Do not go too fast, go slow. You aren't in a rush. And this is like a second last exercise that we're going to do. Now, get up. Now, for the last workout, again, we're going to use a lot of our legs in this workout. We are just going to do a simple march in place. So it depends on you for a low impact march. You can just bring your knees up, that's your hand. Or if you think that you are able to go a little faster, you can just jog in place. It all depends on what you're going to do. Again, warm up. Do not push yourself if you, if you can't, if you aren't comfortable with it. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's it, that was a warm up. Now coming to the workout. You can use an exercise mat if you want. A yoga mat would be fine. Again, we can concentrate on our legs. What we're going to do, we're going to do lunges. Okay? So it depends if you want to do the lunge on a mat or if your floor is comfortable enough. So place your hands on your hips, on your sides. Now bring your right leg forward and we're going to lunge. Do not touch your left knee on the ground, do not touch it, and we're going to come back, and we're going to lunge, and we're going to come back from the side, and we're going to lunge, come back. We're going to do at least 12 of these on one side, or you can alternate your legs, it depends on you. Maintain your balance, and don't forget to breathe. Keep your core engaged. To, as I said, I'm going to keep all of this low impact, but now we're going to do jumping jacks. It's easy. You probably did it when you were a kid. It's simple. Now, the low impact variation of a jumping jack is this. You do one side, you do second, and one. Now, if you're able to do a more intense kind of exercise, you can do the normal jumping jacks like one, two, three. To make this even more harder, you can bend your knees, make sure that your weight is on your hip, do not put your weight on your knees, and now you can do the jumping jacks, like one, two. So it depends on you what you're comfortable with doing. We're going to do 12 of these. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and 12. 10 second rest. Even when you're resting for 10 to 15 seconds, just move your legs, do not stand still. We're going to do the jumping jacks again. 12 of these. Okay. Again, depending on you, you can do the low impact version, or the normal version, or you can bend your knees. Again, I'm going to do it with bending my knees. And you can also move your hands if you want. So let's move our arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 
Again, 10 second rest. Keep moving. We're going to do our legs again. Now, this is a normal squat. If you guys are able to do squats, just squat down. And when you're doing squat, when you're squatting, you need to know about the proper form. So a proper squat is put your weight on your hips, not on your knees. So it's simple. One and two. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Depending on you, if you think that you can do a more intense form, you can add in a jump. So, one and two and three and four and five and six it depends on you if you are able to squat all the way down or just with <laughs> and done okay shake your legs out this workout is going to hurt but that's why I'm saying that if you are able to do the low impact version, just do that. So, working on our legs again. Come to the mat if you have one. How do I? Finding what? Try again? Okay, you can take a water break if you want. Okay, a short water break. Do not go with an entire glass. Two to three sips are okay. Now, coming on to the mat. Mat na piche kar den. Okay. Coming on to the mat. Again, this is a squat with a bit of a variation. Low impact would be you go down, down, and up, and up, and up. Again, down, down, up, and up. This is the low impact variation. Now, if you're able to put it into a Intenser impact, you need to do this. Down, up, and jump. Down, down, up, and jump. <laughs> One, and jump. Down, <laughs> and jump. Again, it's not about being perfect. You can do whatever you are comfortable doing. And we are not counting any reps. You can do five or even six. Now, enough of the legs. Okay, we are going to work on our chest. And this will be the last workout, I promise. We have been exercising for what? 10 to 16 minutes, it's okay. So, let's work on our arm building. We're going to do plank. You guys are, you know, already know about planking, but we're going to do mountain climbers. So, plank position. Hold this position. And now we're going to concentrate on the abs. So bring your right leg up to your knee and back. Up to your elbow and back. You can do this slower, or you can faster than up. Remember to breathe. And See me? Yeah, I guess this is for more picture of This is okay. We're going to do our abs. So lie down. Left knee, uh, left leg folded, right leg forward, right arm up, left arm on our side, and now we're going to come up while engaging our core. Okay? Use your core muscles not your back muscles. So, now low impact would be with your right leg on the ground. Higher impact would be your right leg 
off the ground. So, one, and back, and two, okay, and back, and three, and back, and four, come on, and back, and five, and back. Again, it depends on you how much you're able to do. Seven, and eight, and back. Rest. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Right leg folded, left leg go for low impact. It stays on the ground. For a higher impact, you can like push it up a little from the ground. Down, left arm up. Right arm on your side, and one, and rest, and two, <laughs> and back. I'm trying my best. Okay, oh my. that's what's important. You're trying your best. If you continue doing this, you will notice the improvement in your stamina, in your core strength, in the calories you burn, and everything. And up. Okay. Oh, should we move forward or should I like end with a warm up, uh, with a cool down? Okay, you can do it. Okay, so get up. Now we need to do another variation of an ab exercise. Fold your legs in front of you like this, touch your feet together. Okay, again, it depends on you how much flexible you are. With your arms up, we're going to go down, go down. And we're going to come up and reach forward. Forward, not down, forward. One, and back. And two, and back. And three, and back. What happened? <laughs> and four. I'm not strong enough. Okay. Need the legs. And five. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're trying to improve. Depending on which area of your body you're strong with, you know, work on those, and also work on your weaknesses, so that you get an overall body workout and have toned body all over. And enough. I guess this is enough, we should cool down. Okay, so cooling down, get onto the floor, onto the mat, Lay down, legs straight. Okay, legs straight. We are going to bring our left leg all the way up while folded and try to touch it with your chest, depending on flexibility, and just lay there. And breathe. Be proud of what you have achieved today. You have burned a few calories. You are on your way to have a toned body and keep breathing, concentrate on your breath, breathe in from the nose, and exhale from the nose. And bring the leg down. We're gonna do the same thing with the right leg. Again, depending on your flexibility, try and touch the kneecap to your chest, and breathe. Keep breathing. It depends on you how much you want to do this, like five breaks is okay. Okay, so I got into a bit of an audio problem because literally the traffic was too much. Anyway, I am continuing with the cool down with Fawad and the good thing is that due to the audio problem, I'm able to talk about what I want to. So moving on to the next cool down, we are just trying to touch our toes with them right in front of us with straight legs however it depends on you if you're able to bend forward to touch your toes or you can touch your knees or your ankles and yeah so now we're getting up on our feet this is more or less the last exercise that you need to do for the cool down with your legs straight 
you can get uh, like have a couch a wall or a chair for support or if you're good with balancing you can just do it with on your one leg so you fold one leg and try to bring the foot up to your hip and just breathe and just let your heartbeat slow down come back to normal so coming in a uh, few Fawad, I am really impressed because Fawad is someone who goes to the gym. However, he works more on his upper body strength, his chest, his arms. And yeah, so I'm, I was very impressed that he was able to kind of keep up with me doing all of the cardio and the hit because he, he, he doesn't necessarily do all of that. This was the first time he did it. So I'm really impressed by that. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of our little workout. I enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it. This, like I said, you can do the low impact or you can do the high impact. And let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about it. And bye. <laughs> So, you can see the